I wonder what the hell this thing eats. Oh, please, God, don't take some weird thing like rare flowers or something. I don't have a flyer on me. Oh, there's a beaver damn it. Ah! Yo, what's going on, guys? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Here we are on this beautiful survival series next to Meat Slug and Emperor Cusco, our llama. I'm about to go get that freaking present right there. As I'm, as I'm trying to organize my words into sentences so people could understand me, but I ran out of G Fuel, so I've been inhaling Red Bull like a crackhead, and now my words don't make any freaking sense. Also, what the hell's going on over here? Everyone seems so freaking well informed on all this sort of corrupt knowledge. Oh my Jesus Christ! All right. Our neighbors are clearly up <laughs> to some evil shit. I'm gonna avoid that till I'm able to properly scale the difficult ones from the easier ones. Also, it's about to touch the ground. Yeah, there's actually presents all over the freaking place. Yo, oh my god! Get, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Low oxygen! What what does that even mean? I just wanted a goddamn present! I can't fly! Oh my god, what's happening? You can't fly in low oxygen areas. This is hell. What the what the what the shits? This is the kind of thing I'm gonna get yelled at in the comment section right here for not knowing. For not knowing that low ox- I'm gonna freaking die in here, dude. It seems we're not running out of oxygen, but our creature very well is. This is what the- uh, this is gonna be some freaking warning around here or something. This is the kind of bullshit I always deal with with the mods, dude, I swear to god. This is never any warning. The mod then's just like, ooh, they're gonna land in my freaking disaster and they're gonna have a heart attack. I'm still gonna go in there and get the president. The president. <laughs> president. I ain't no pussy, but. What was that? What made a noise? I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't even care what else. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, I'm out of here. I, want you to, I don't even want your presence. I was wondering, I heard a footstep, and I was like, okay, any creature big enough to make a noisy footstep is gonna be able to kill me. Sure enough, it was the beast that's able to vaporize us and kill our creature. They, good, good god! Who's been recording two minutes? Almost lost everything. <laughs> Everyone down below in the comment section who suggested naming our llama Cusco is a freaking genius. I think we should all collectively clap for ourselves for a minute. Or <laughs> pretty fantastic decision on the community's part. Also, real quick before we start this video, two very important things. For all of the month of January, because this is very important, we all gotta do our part in the planet and such, there are two charities down below in the comment section. One just is the ASPCA, it helps animals in every way, shape, and form. And the other is an Australian animal foundation that obviously helps with all the destruction going on down there. If you donate at least $5 or more to any of these foundations, all the month of January, and send me a screenshot that you have, like, just like any sort of proof, send it to me on Discord, post it in my Discord, send it to me on Twitter, any way you want, I will name a creature after you in this freaking survival series right here, and it will be glorious. The size and epicness of the creature will be based upon how much you donate, obviously, because I'm not gonna spend like an hour on a creature for five dollars. But either way, your name walking around the base and knowing that you helped animals on this planet is a beautiful thing. I swear to God, and I, I mean this as much as possible, I will do my best to keep you alive. And even if you die, which everything kind of sort of does in these survival series, we'll put your gravestone right here where we have to look at it every day. <laughs> Also, for all my Ark Anunnaki lovers out there, I did just start a new Anunnaki survival series on Twitch just because Anunnaki's buggy and we already have a survival series on YouTube. So if you guys want to see that, I'm streaming it like every other day and it is freaking insane, dude. Anunnaki is as crazy as I remember it. Alright, so first things first, we have Meat Slug over here, which was a beautiful name suggestion from you guys down below. Like, it's it's a big, meaty slug. And honestly, it's a pretty weak one, too. Like, we just tamed it because we desperately wanted a Dodogama, but it's only level 103, and that's after taming. So, that's like one of our main goals today, is actually a beast Dodogama that we can use to destroy freaking pillars. What basically all went terribly wrong last episode, but it's gonna go right this time. Pretty much every single person down below who sided with me after the last video. I freaking love you guys. All right, I commented back to as many as I possibly could. I'll go back to the video after this too, just to try and reply to everybody. Cause the, okay, so it's just a thing now. Like this big freaking evil ass area is pop popping up all over the place. All right, we know now because of science not to mess with those ones until we're freaking equipped. I just really thought, dude, I was so freaking offended. I thought there was no way that creature was gonna deal with any kind of hardship. That shit was gonna be so easy. Like, are you kidding me? That creature had 100,000 health. I, I did not know that they come out in separate difficulties at the time. There should be a goddamn warning sign somewhere so we don't make that mistake. Oh, any sort of warning, for Christ's sake. It's just a little heads up. 
I thought I didn't I had no idea they were rated in difficulties that was listed nowhere And then a few people are telling me to go and just watch King Daddy D max series to learn about it all But I, I, I feel like you're missing the whole point of adding a mod and then learning how to mess with it while doing it Like you don't want to just what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> no, <laughs> get out of there I guess I don't need a gold drop that badly. I'm sure as hell not landing in there right now. That sounds like the worst freaking idea on the planet. I mean, we could try and go for it. We don't even know this thing's exact health and torpor. A bunch of people were telling me to add the awesome spyglass mod, which I'm a little tempted to so we can see what's going on. I just always thought awesome spyglass was so- ah! Are you- are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you- are you shitting my pants? There's no way that just happened! I wasn't even near it! Oh my god, I, I swear to god, if somebody else would be in the comment section for this, I swear There's no fucking way to prevent that, or no, that was, I wasn't anywhere near that, dude. You're too fat to move! I'm gonna- I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna freaking cry man tears right now. Alright, well, we're tossing- Tossing the things we don't exactly need. I can't goddamn believe that just happened, dude. I, I <laughs> it's it's just now hitting me. Varen, you bitch! And he's eating the freaking thing. I'm not getting any closer. Clearly, is he could hurt things from far away because he's a freaking son of a. I can't believe that just happened, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> these things, these things just happened to me. Someone's gonna be like, "Wow, Raya really sucks." He couldn't even get. Like, Are you kidding me? I was nowhere near that. There's creatures alive in between me and it. I thought we'd be safe for sure because of that. I don't even know what to do, but look at them all gathering. How come none of those freaking things received any damage from so all? Just my ass is like, it's, it, it's just, you know what it is? It, it, it's upsetting. It makes me want to cry. I'm, I'm pretty sure that thing had a couple of our Dodogama snacks on it too. I think, I, I, I honestly don't even know where they are. We have a few more back at base, so I'm not that worried. I have my monster repellents on me though, which makes me think the Dodogama snacks were in here too. Well, they're actually pretty easy to get because they only require basic kibble like not any kind of extraordinary kibble It's more just tedious is what it is. So I prefer to do it Not during action time. I can't even freaking jump down there. This is bullshit. Is there even a way down here? What's what's our escape plan? <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe that just happened. I'm so mad. I added fair into this world like, that was Joker, dude. I've had that flyer for so long, and now not only that, but we're like stranded over here. This is a hardcore series. We don't die around these parts. Okay, he's down there killing stuff. We can make it back. We can do this. We're like the most talented. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. God damn it! There's just carbon. No, 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 no! Run! Run for your life! Okay, you got stuck on something. I'm getting out of this. I'm surviving this nonsense. All right, you can't, you can't. I'm so freaking mad. I left my parachute at home. <laughs> my God, my God, my God, my camera's not even on. My God, I was just running and I just heard freaking thunderous feet behind me. My God, this is, this is, this is terrifying. I need to drop some freaking crap. What's he doing? What's he charging up? It looks like he's charging something up. He's, I, I, I can't get any freaking distance on this creature. I'm, I'm too fat. No, my God, come on, Jesus Christ. This thing is terrifying. I'm literally just as fast as this creature. If if maybe a tiny bit a tiny bit slower, I need to drop some shit. I put way too much stuff into other things on my character. I was not wise with it. I didn't realize I needed to have so much freaking weight. Oh thank god he got stuck on something. What the thing was terrifying? It's like an owl gorilla. Yes, yes, thank god, yes, oh thank god. Oh my god. Alright. What what the fudge around here is weighing me down? It's these colors is what's doing it. I can't drop any of my darts. I need these shits. You know what we don't need right now? Is this. The extractor. We can make plenty of those easy sleazy. Alright, I'm gonna try and tame this creature because I don't know why I'm being such a sissy. Being on feet in arc isn't that scary. It was more the Varen. It just kind of shook me down to my core. Being so safe and secure on my trusty flyer. My favorite one. My only one. I guess we have a couple stupid ass parrot eggs and a raffinose, but it's not like <laughs> they're, they're never gonna be any joking. I wonder if this thing's even a torpor tame. There's no way it's not a torpor tame. This thing doesn't seem very passive. I wonder what the hell this thing eats. Oh, please, God, don't take some weird thing like rare flowers or something. I don't have a flyer on me. Oh, there's a beaver dam. Ah! How the fuck did you get up here? 
I'm so mad at didn't stream like a, like a warrior. I swear to God, when I die from some crazy shit in real life, I, I better muscle up some kind of man scream. If that's the last thing my kids hear is a lion rips me apart, I, oh my God, I, I'm terrible, terrible thing to do to my family. That is it. I am so adding the awesome spyglass after this. I don't know why I ever removed it. It may be kind of cheaty, but so are freaking modded crazy monsters that be terrifying. Get out of the goddamn water, you idiot! Why do they always do that? I spent like an hour rush taming Anunnaki creatures yesterday that were at the bottom of the ocean, and it is. It, I, I don't know if I could do the stress anymore, man. Just get out of the water, you fucking. You numb skull. What are you doing in there? I mean, I don't want his torpor to just go to nothing, but if he falls asleep in the water, oh my, especially after that whole Varen incident, yeah, I'm gonna get mad judgmental eyes down below in the comment section. Yes, yeah, so smart. It, it, half of YouTube is just PR, PR work. Can't let anyone get pissed at you. <laughs> no, I, I hate you! Alright everyone, I know some seriously depressing crap just happened, but I have some amazing news for you guys. What's going on, Crisco? Don't touch my butt. No. No, I say something that. else. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, say other things. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yo, what's up, guys? Man, I'm back. He's Sorry, back. Y'all. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what? PC broke. It's not broke. I'm back. Everything's working again. I'm alive, and crazy things are about to happen. Chris goes back for good. The fails are now yep. behind us. Crisco, in the 20 oh. episodes you've been gone, I tamed like two things, man. It has been crazy out here. Freaking, um, um, I was just flying around innocently on my only flyer, and a Godzilla freaking, uh, bitch, we're gonna call it. No, don't run away, you stupid bun yip. Just one shot at me from a mile away. I was nowhere near it, and I almost cried. It was terrible. Yeah, I saw the leather wing die. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that happen. I was like, man, hey, I was telling the peeps I'm back, and then bam, <laughs> you killed, it said you killed me. You were in the way, damn it! <laughs> your and body was- you, you had to log out for three months in the staircase. I- oh, is that where I was? Dude, the oh, yeah, I, was, I was just trying to tame this creature, man, and now it's swimming to the bottom of the ocean. It's gonna get eaten by sharks! This thing is fucking dumb as hell! Sorry, I'm just going through some really sad stuff right now. Oh, I know. Oh, look at this, man. Alright, alright, kibble. I'm looking for the kibble. Get out of the water, you big sexy dumb bitch! Alright, I'm fast at this point you gotta just kinda leave it and come back and hopefully when it come when you come back then it'll be a it'll be a little more stable. We do have a freaking taming cage built right here just for this very situation. Alright, Chris, I'm gonna start making my way back to you, buddy. Oh my god, it's gaining on me. Oh my god, it's slowly gaining on me. Zigzag around the stuff. Oh god, it's zigzag. No, it did zigzag as well because it's a dumb idiot. Ah, it's a carnivore also. I was gonna just oh shit. I thought it was a parasaur. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eat the dodo. Eat the dodo. Fuck you. No. Dude, I need to send you my Johnny button. Son of a bitch. All right. I'm sending. I'm. I'm gonna send you the Johnny button. What the hell is a Johnny button? So that way you're like, oh you. Don't you keep out doing them? That's, that's amazing. That sounds Works pretty better. freaking useful. Isn't it? Isn't that amazing? I called the Johnny button. <laughs> I, 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 I'm like two base, but I still have to pass like some prehistoric squibbly pods, narwhals, hammerheads, dolphins, which have been known to rape humans lost at sea. I have <laughs> some. Just tighten your bow. God, a dolphin's approaching me. You can't do it. Go away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say right now. Oh I don't think you're ever gonna make it. Clench your cheeks, Johnny. Clench your cheeks. If, if this sort of thing happened to me, I would just crap backwards. Although dolphins have been known also to save like sailors from sharks. I guess it depends if they're horny or feel like they're up for a fight. Dolphins are crazy. I gotta make some armor though. I have no armor. I have nothing. Everything's gone. Yep. You're a homeless that's what, bum. That's what happens when your friend murders you three months ago. That's what happens when you log off for three months on a staircase in the way, Crisco. I, I walked over you for like a week and a half, and then one day I was in a hurry, and I was like, God damn it! And I started hacking you with a hatchet. I didn't want you to forget me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go over here to Rashi. Oh, dude, the llamas are cool looking. Right? It's a beefy ass. That thing is actually huge. It's like a prehistoric llama. Could eat you. Alright, so wow. in here is where all the crafting crap is. Nice. Here's, okay. here's Sam. Sam got AIDS, Crisco. Sam got oh. AIDS and I had to put him down. Shit was crazy. Man, it happens, dude. It happens. If infected raffinose bite stuff, they get AIDS. 
Wow. Apparently I didn't know that. Only, apparently it can only spread to dodos and humans, though. I did not know that at the time when I shot him. <laughs> Had so, I have known? It's, it's only AIDS for dodos and humans. Yes. Now, yeah. it would appear I just ran out of enough poly for riot gear, because I've, I've, I've been lacking, Crisco, lacking big time. Oh, no, that's cool, man. Hey, look, I will take any kind of gear. Yeah, there's, some, there's some flak armor in here. Let's go ahead and make you a long neck rifle. Oh, look at that. All right, grab the rifle over here. This little chest is where I've just been putting darts last minute. Grab some of these bad boys. All right, Chris goes, so since some legendary, handsome, epic uh, arc hero who goes unnamed at this moment kind of lost our only flyer, I think we're taking the dog. Actually, it's exciting taking the hounds out. This is the shit. It's that kind oh, of man. camaraderie I've been missing running around scared as hell. Dude, like a wolf pack, man. Let's go. Exactly. All right, I have our last four Dodo Gama snacks. So, like, th th if, if I die, throw yourself on my body, all right? Like, it, all right. And perhaps put some shoes on, you know? We're trying to represent like, our business out here. You make oh, us you look didn't like give me... cave. Oh, I didn't give you shoes. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Over here, it's the shoe closet. I thought you just like looking at my feet. Oh, I do kind of like leave them off. Pop those oh, bad man. boys off on the other. Look at that! I got big feet, man. You know what they say about people with big feet? Big socks. Yep, that's right. That's right. Oh, this is dope. This is what it's all about, right here. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be really sad if we die. All right, let's go. Well, let's not die. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we should. uh... I mean, oh my god, oh my god, let's go! Never mind, let's back up a little bit slowly. I got my paws wet. <laughs> I'm trying to think if we should take a raft over there. There's a lot of sea monsters, but we, we'd be able to bite past them. Plus, these creatures repair. Let's get a jumping start. Jumping start's where it's all at. Okay. Whee! Right, back. Yeah, leave it. Right. I gained like 15 feet you ain't got, buddy. Shit, take a raft, take a raft, take a raft! Oh my god. Goddamn hammerhead sharks, get a raft! Did this really happened like immediately. This is what this this is how I die so often in this goddamn and world. Look at that! Like look at that! I'm a, I'm a machine. <laughs> As you I'm push a me machine. off the <laughs> You're falling well, off machine. Is what you know what? I'm gonna say I I saw that coming. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get pushed off the raft, dude. Is that is that a swordfish? These are big ass stuck, swords. Swordfish stuck on the shore. Shit. These, this always happens with these, and it's like, it makes me want to freaking tame it so bad, but then at the same time, those are the ones, the second you get on it, after you tame it, it dies. Because it's on oh. land. Oh, hey, yeah, guys, man. Arc in the exploding fish. We're gonna eat it. No, 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 Put some schmoobles in it. What if it's not even tameable by a freaking narcotic, though? This kind of crap is always funky. It's like, oh yeah, you had to put the grinded up eggs of some rare jellyfish in its butt. Because this is oh, arc modded and everything's complicated. God damn it, Crisco, you made me kill it! Look at this oh. kind of bullshit. What, what happens? Nope, 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 nope. Get me out of here, nope. Go in there, dude. You get hallucinations. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, oh, I get off me. How did that thing attack you? That's an extremely passive dinosaur. That's because it got corrupted. Oh, they got evil. I gotta go in here one more time and see what happens. Look, dust is affecting your health. Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> oh, you're in. Oh, yeah, no, this is real bad, dude. It's the hallucinations, though. I feel like teenagers would go climb in there to get high. Yeah, um, so. There's these crazy things you can put on your on these uh, uh those radiation suits you can take into those areas. Ah, oh, hazmat suits? Yeah. Yeah, hazmat suits. I remember hazmat Oh, that's why there's freaking crystals over the place. Ah, for the Oh, there's one suits. of the bosses right here. This one seems to be inactive though. I ran by this one earlier. Oh, it's inactive until you get something that's purple or whatever. Oh, oh god, you made a man! Run! Run, 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 run! You why? Hang on. No, what if why we can beat them? You did it! We could beat nope. him! Nope, nope, I didn't do that. Where'd you go, man? You disappeared faster than my dad. Jesus even Christ. The screen, hey, the screen even said run in big red letters. I ran. Okay, see, with you around, I'm gonna die a lot less. You seem to know what's going on with this kind of stuff. Um, you should be back at our old base, though, because I think it's good. No, wait, over here. If we need to get on. Hmm, we need to meet up. Oh, there you are. What's oh, going dude, on, buddy? That thing is, is out. Yeah, that's funny. Angry. I'm not letting it touch me again. I got kind of cocky with it because I underestimate a lot of things in this world for some reason. And then I die. You hatched it. I actually haven't seen one of those hatch yet. 
<laughs> Is are you not supposed to hatch that? <laughs> I can finally win fights! There are yeah. two of us! Woo! See that? Hey, that's because we're packed up, man. I was gonna freaking tame one of these things for uh one of the people who donated money in the Australia charity stream I did. But Olaf. I'll do that later off camera because we have freaking goals. Why are right they now. what are they doing to oh, me? Oh you don't want to attack Olaf's they're very pack oriented. Oh my god, and an alligator, why? They all defend each other like crazy. Uh, yeah, these things are goddamn nuttier than squirrel turns. And they fight like cholos. If you piss one of them off, every cousin they've ever been related to shows That's up to amazing. fight you. That is the most amazing uh yeah, that that was a great analogy, my friend. <laughs> that was great. I immediately got it. I was like, I got it. I got it. Oh, you know what I brought? A taxidermy tool. Ooh, taxidermy tool. I'm so happy to have you back, Crisco. You just complete me. Just yeah. A oh. Bunch of horses. Hey, horses. Do we need a red horse? No. We don't need a red horse. <laughs> you say that <laughs> now, so we need a red horse. That was horse. a shiny red horse, by the way. Yeah, that was the shiniest red horse I've ever seen. A shiny red horse? You got me thinking it was Pokemon for a second. Ooh, crap. But I already have one Ooh. of these rifles! Where's the logic? Ooh. Hey, 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 look, look, look over there. Oh my god. Cusco, go check his level. Wait, 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 I guess we have freaking... There, take one of these. These monster repellents last a while. We just have to be sure... God damn it! Okay, hey, I gotta collect the rest. I need to get this thing out of my face. Dude, look at this thing right next to us, though. It should be finalists. Yeah, I won't notice. Where, where'd it go? Oh, you just... Okay, okay that's not the repellent. You no, no, that's just... It. I wanted to get the drop out of here. Look at this big fat bastard right next to us, though. What's the deal what with that, that guy? Right? Dear, careful, careful, careful. Okay. Oh, no! That's the elephant... Elephantosaurus. I, I don't know. They don't attack you when you get close? I never open... It's passive? <laughs> Wow, my chicken ass has never gotten close enough to these things. I never would have discovered their passive. I'm always so scared to touch stuff. And the Elephantosaurus threw it across the map. The Elephantosaurus seems to be doing a lot of damage to that situation, but also is about to die. Here, take one of these repellents. I really hope that creature... I mean, if it, if it dies, then it's too weenie to freaking tame anyways. This All is right, the... so I gotta, eat. I gotta eat that. Now you shove it up your butt. All right, perfect. Done. All right. Here it comes. Here, take half oh. of the Dodo Gama snacks so we can do this okay. together. You put oh, it in your last right. slot and you passive feed. Or pass. yeah, oh, you're perfect. the one who taught me they're passive. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Are right, you ready? Board ready. Wait, wait, let's check this level first, though. What if it sucks? Level 240. Holy shit. That doesn't suck. That doesn't suck at all. That blows. Does it not want our stuff? Is it, It's aggro on something. What's going on here? No, it is. Okay, there we go. Okay. It ain't one. So it's got oh a my weird god! Oh. We won't even. Oh. Whoa! That is amazing. That was a religious experience. Dude, look at his belly ho, man. Belly ho. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, he's almost tame. Yeah, dude, one actually did a lot more than I thought it would. I've only like, uh, I guess it's like the second monster I've tamed though. So I don't know uh, that Where's he yet. going? Don't he's you, jumping off the cliff. Don't you do it, you fat bastard. Don't, don't go off the cliff. You survived no. such terrible things down. Here, I got him. Yes. I got him. Pull him back, Chris. Pull him back. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, Gulp right him down the kibble. Big gulpy bastard. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got it. Okay. I got it. Oh, yeah. Right, champ. Oh, he's really slow. Woo. But I guess, you know, he has if I was no that sprit. fat. He's all belly. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, if my belly was like that, I'd be slow, too. All right. Yeah. He's even slower. Oh, look at the way you wiggle, man. Hey, look at this. I couldn't ride this thing, man. Look at this. It's like, it's bam, bam. bam. <laughs> He's it's like, sassy. Right, He's so it's like riding on a giant butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> He's sassy as hell, man. Okay, I'm getting this creature while we're here as well. This one's going to be named after one of the donators. Oh. The rest I'll get off camera, but this one's right here. It's perfect. And this is a cool enough creature to be named after someone who donated money. To Dude, the Africa, is, Africa, it, Australia, <laughs> Africa. Okay, Africa, Australia. Well, that's a new continent. <laughs> Africa. It happens. People mistake Africa and Australia all the time. Damn it! Oh, it's so happy. I, mean, I, I, I didn't say that. He said it. Australians. I like you guys. I love Australia, but Africa's well. They're Africans. both like I picture, but they're both like the most animal ridden countries so i don't know i gotta confuse i'm drinking a lot of red bull and they both start with a i'm not gonna lie dude this thing is cute it's, it is it's... ugly and cute at the same time <laughs> that, that... Like his little smile he's like hey how you know how you know oh hey, check it out chips. Yep, all right here oh 
He's got a roar. No, I, you know, I don't need to be on it. It's just like, like go up to it, press E and quick roar. Oh, I did. It didn't work. I think it Dude, it's already almost got 30,000 health. It's so much stronger than the other one. Oh my god. Look at its wow. belly just flopping. Dude, look at that face, man. He looks, you know, <laughs> he looks like he's like if Peter Griffin was a dinosaur. Yeah. That's what he looks like. <laughs> he almost has a giant ball sack chin as well. It's kind of perfect. Oh, this is so good. We're going to have to make a boat to get these guys. Actually, while he's here, we should use this guy perhaps to take out one of the... You ride this and I'll bring the dogs. And then okay. we should be able to defeat one of the freaking things that destroyed me last time. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring Elefante down to the water for okay. when we do make our escape. And then let's go hunt down one of those pillars. Poor, poor, big, slow fella. Man, this is going to be a while. I'm just going to run this guy down to the water and then I'll run back up. All right. I'm pretty sure you do that like 20 times by the time I make it to the water. I think what I should do is scope out... Um, Actually, I wonder if we could just do it on the dogs. No, we gotta bring freaking Totogama. It's way cooler. Hey, what does this dude eat? Um, actually, I do not know. The one at base hasn't really eaten yet either. It just kind of slowly starves, but like very slowly, like historically slowly. Oh, well, I need to level next anyway. Dude. Yeah. I'm gonna go, um, scope Ooh, out artists. to find one of the drops so we don't. Whoa, wrong button. Wow, that was amazing. Get the crap even out of me, and I'm on it. <laughs> All right, cause yeah, we gotta we gotta find one to bring you to, otherwise you'd be freaking walking around for decades. All right, so we were gonna destroy a tower with the Dodo Gama, but the thing is, we have to find a freaking tower first. So right now, let's just get everything back to base where it's all nice and secure. So the only visible tower right now is the one that's ranked as one of the most difficult, which you guys all say down below. So it sounds sounds like death. Okay, so Crisco just had to go. This was our first year. He was only back for a little bit right now. He has a doctor's appointment, but he is going to be back for good in the next episode. It's very freaking phantasmagorical to have my buddy back, especially because he's been in like all D-Max recordings, so he's a pretty much professional with all this corruption stuff too. We also need name suggestions because this one is a beast. This is our buddy. This this thing will not die stupidly while freaking going up against um uh, uh whatever the hell I may send it up against. It also doesn't really seem to be eating that much because I'm not really sure what it eats. It's it's like just steadily losing food forever. But, but I, I don't know. If anyone has any suggestions other than dodo gama treats, I mean, I'll feed you one. If I feed you one, would you eat it? They're not that hard to make. I'd rather, yeah, he did. So he eats those. He loves dodo gama treats. Gulf that shit right down. It does repair a large amount of food. I suppose I should give you the other one then, because you're just about starving. But you're kind of a weenie, but I guess we love all of our- You don't just feed your pets based on how much they can help you. This thing definitely requires some sort of fancy ass because there's a forest elephant. There's- it's, it requires some sort of other vanilla saddle. Which creature do you guys think fits this thing the size the, the most? Because that's the saddle we're supposed to put on it. It's beautiful, and I love it. All right, now that the business part is taken care of, I need to go revisit that freaking buddy up over there. That son of a bitch, he owes me money. Also, I definitely left one of my corrupt module extractors in here. We need to get moving on this corruption stuff, because Chris goes saying there's so much unbelievable amount of crap you could do, and we haven't really done any of it. I love how quick this thing poops out ingots. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, we have another genome extractor. I know I've had like several of these things throughout the episode and I feel like a freaking goofball right here. Hold the capture, these freaking crowd pods have since been added as well. Holy shit. So much is changing around here. Finally a use for corrupted nodules as well because I wasn't like advanced to have any of those yet. I've been kind of taking my time on this stuff, just more focused on the Monster Hunter aspect of the survival series, but now that we at least have something, we have at least one very large impressive monster. So now I just kind of want to figure out how to how to use all these mystical powers to corrupt this this monster of ours. Yeah, I don't think the bunny have ever made it back onto land. That that dude was going against all freaking odds back there. there. He was at the bottom of the ocean. Big, big, dumbass animal. But he was so freaking cool. But just ultimately so insanely stupid. And that led to his downfall. Oh, Jesus Christ! You just step into it! My God, it's so instantly punishing! When's it end? This is such a crazy new thing that's been added. I'm so happy this mod's adapting and adding so much horrifying shit. I need to find one of those pillars that's easier so I can bring... What the hell is that thing? So I can bring, um... 
It doesn't even matter what the hell it is. They will always fall. Nothing cool survives around here, goddammit. You little bastard, get the hell off of me. Alright, so now what I'm kind of looking for is one of those creatures that has been affected by the corruption of the towers so we could knock it out and extract its fancy, fancy parts. Dude, how the hell am I supposed to get relatively close to one of these things? Enough to freaking, like, this, this is uninhabitable, this is insane! We don't seem to be taking any radiation, perhaps our creature's taking the... The, the majority of it. Things don't even look that different in here. That's because they're not. Haha! -ha! Science. Except for those flaming sabers. These, okay, so this, alright, okay. We just gotta get these jungle, jungle cats out of here. Hopefully they don't raise complications. Yeah, they're just regular old lions. No issue there. Pretty freaking cool looking lions, but regular ass, they're depleting my health so much. Run, Johnny! When anything drops you to half health that freaking fast, you get the hell out of town, all right? I don't care what anyone says, that's the rules. Shit! Someone's gonna comment in the comment section below, like, right, you know you're going for the most difficult ones right now. And I'm like, no, I don't know that. I have no idea that that's a thing. How in the hell am I supposed to know this? I, I, you know what though, common sense dictates fire is usually a raised difficulty. I, I have little intention of going back. If I could knock one of them stegos asleep though, but there's, yeah, and there's those giant compies there too. Yeah, I'm getting, getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Stick around for that shit. If I die in there, you guys better remember me for who I was. The best damn arc player in the whole world. Just, just lie to everyone. Lie to everyone and tell them that's who I was. You step in here and it's just stank. It's just copious amounts of stank. We don't seem to be losing health though. Our creatures, we're gaining torpor though. This is knocking us out very, very slowly. But consistently nevertheless. Where's that creature I just saw in here? Where'd you go, you little bastard? Must have flown away. See, some of these are just confused like this. Oh, he's already asleep right there. Can I dismount? I've dismounted. Are you just asleep, bud? We've done it! I can't even find my freaking dog. Oh my god, this place is toxic as hell. This place is more toxic than a Call of Duty lobby. Jesus Christ! Once the stank wears off, we've done it. 1% of a spirit plague genome sequence. Oh, my headphones! I mean, I knew I was talented. I knew I was one of the best, but this good? 1% done good? I don't know, man. That's, that's scary. I actually- Wait, two! Two 1%s! Therefore... 2% baby. Is that how that works or is that just two 1%s? I'm confused about math. I'm like, shoot, do I continue playing or do I go write the freaking book on Ark Survival Evolved? Because clearly, I'm more than able to. I'm quite impressive. Perhaps if we get the attention of several dick-faced creatures, let's get some food so we get that 20 second heal. That's right, we've angered your, we've angered your poppy. I know there's more of you, come on. Is anyone just running? I hate how there's like a 5% chance they just run away and a 95% chance they, they jump you with their homies. See, this one's got beef. This one's got balls. But now it's running away. Okay, well, I just threw up a little bit in my mouth because I forgot to eat breakfast and kind of just went right to chugging uh, <laughs> Red Bull. Man, if I could step in here. Ooh, get some of thems. Ooh. I'll bet the second we dismount in here, though, it's like death. I mean, our creature's stats are still rising, he's still healing steadily. We're fine, because we have- I think it only affects you once you dismount. Well, that's just the farther you go into it, the more unbelievably toxic it is. I think- I feel like the green ones are like the best starter one to start out with though, because... It like naturally knocks creatures unconscious inside there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of genius. They're already asleep, it's a toxic one. Okay, thank god the oceans are clear because I don't have the strength right now to make a raft. I'm stupid and should have eaten. Make sure to drop name suggestions though for the Dodo Gama because that thing is a beast. 
If you guys are able to donate to the charities down below, that would be freaking awesome. Remember, just over $5 and then screenshot it and I will name a creature after you. In this survival series, we'll make a little pen, honestly, probably tonight or tomorrow. I want to give more people a chance to donate and then just do it like 10 creatures at a time. But yes, all in all, we're going to do our part to help Australia because there's so many beautiful animals down there in trouble. Or if you choose the ASPCA donation because that also helps a bunch of beautiful animals in trouble. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe, I'm gonna go throw up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!